Hi, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about what I consider the most sexy fragrance on the face of the planet. And that would be from the House of Eccentric Molecules, Molecule 01. Now, disclaimer, I am exceptionally biased on this fragrance. I would say that I'm addicted to it. This video is being sponsored by Notino. They were nice enough to send me out a bottle so I could review it. You've seen a review on this before, but let me tell you why all the controversy and conflict tends to come in. Because it's not a fragrance in the classic sense. We think about a fragrance as top, middle, bottom. That's not this. It's one note built on an aroma chemical. What does that mean? It's everything and nothing all at the same time. It takes your smell and amplifies it. It basically mimics a pheromone. Pheromones are those things that we key on with one another that's almost like the Spanish fly, the thing that makes you smell sexy. I've seen this thing work miracles. From this age to that age, from this side of the planet to that side, it doesn't matter. I've seen people put this on, spray it and say, hmm, that's kind of cool. Yeah this cedar wood kind of thing, then walk out of the store and people are like, who in the, who is that? That's you. And that's a twist for most of us. Because in most fragrances, you're just in the top notes. And then you get to watch the evolution from a high-end fragrance or not. There's an evolution. With this, it goes on. And then you become somewhat nose blind. It just goes on and you get this nice, and you're like, oh, that's nice. It's not, it, it doesn't come out, you know, screaming at you. And if you've heard all these great and wonderful things about it, you're probably a little let down. But let the magic happen. Do what you have to do. In about 20 minutes, you'll get a waft of something. You'll be like, hmm. It's kind of like walking by someplace, walking by a food court, and you get the smell of fresh baked bread or something. It just, bacon or something like that just turns your head. That's what happens here. And as the day goes on, you get this waft, this waft, this waft. But everywhere you go, there will not be a waft. People will notice because it still behaves like a fragrance. Meaning, for me, I get eight hours plus performance. Projection, three feet plus. Siage, three feet plus. So as far as performance, on me, it's beastly. However, I don't smell it as much as people around me. Uniqueness is where it shines for me because I can wear this as a fragrance anywhere. Anywhere signature fragrance, it could be my one and only fragrance. It's the Highlander in a bottle. But it also works as a Swiss Army knife for me also because I can increase the longevity of other fragrances and projection, i.e. Bleecker Street and Oud Wood. You've heard me talk about that. And then I can change the fragrance profiles of certain things. So if I can get something that performs incredibly, that has multiple uses, that means the value of this is incredible. And back me up, Molecule lovers, if you wear this, you got to admit, you become somewhat addicted to it. It's probably the one fragrance in my wardrobe. I know it's the one fragrance in my wardrobe I'll never be without. I've stocked up on this stuff for that reason. Now, the downside. It's not as easy to get a sample of as most fragrances. And because it comes from a company in the UK, it's not as readily available. So the a lot of there's some people who say, well, you can go on eBay and get ISO E put in perfumers oil and people make these concoctions and it smells just as good. Well, no, 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 no. Those are the same people, in my opinion, they'll be like, remember the Eddie Murphy skit and raw? I want to go to McDonald's. Mama make you a better hamburger than McDonald's. Then you get this big onion and bell pepper burger to fingerprint you. Yeah, you want mama's burger or you want the McDonald's burger? It may not be apropos, but you get the point. Trying to make stuff be something that it isn't is, the, is a waste of money. It's the same thing as, well, I don't want to spend my money all on that, so I'll get these, these cheaper, this cheaper, this, this copy, this whatever, and you're still trying to get this. Don't try to knock off of this because you will be trying to compare something you've never had to a knockoff. And then you smell and then you're like, oh, that's not worth all the hype. And then if you never get the reaction and you never see what it can do, you'll never get a true comparison. Hope that helps you out. So all of this back and forth about what it is, what it is, it is the everything and nothing most sexy fragrance on the place of the planet. And I've seen it work too many times for anyone to change my mind. So if you're not a molecule lover, if you're one of the people who want to go in the comment section and say it doesn't work, guess what? Exit stage to left. Because everyone else looking for the all or nothing fragrance, the holy grail, in my opinion, of simplicity and functionality, that would be this. Now, again, it is not Aventus. It's not, you know, 
M7. It's not any of these these masterpiece kind of fragrances because that's an entire fragrance pyramid. This is something completely different and it wasn't made to be that way. So do yourself a favor. Blind buy it. Don't get, don't go get the knockoff. Go blind buy it. If you don't like it, I guarantee you this. You can sell it even partially used. You won't have a problem getting rid of it because it's that, that gum good. Till the next time, talk at you later.